It's been a stupidly awesome year for 3D printing, especially for these guys right here. But we have seen a lot of companies come into the field of 2025 to say, look what we have, this shiny new 3D printer. And I've been 3D printing for close to a decade, but not successfully. I've successfully been 3D printing for about a year now. And I've had a lot of my good friends, local townspeople, just people that know me and know that I do this, approach me and say, Nate, I want a 3D printer for Christmas, or I want to buy my kid a 3D printer for Christmas, or Jimmy wants a 3D printer for Christmas. Can you give me some advice on what to buy? And so I've had enough people ask me that, and which is weird. No one has asked me about these this year, but everyone's asking me about these. So I thought I should jump in front of the camera and give you a solid recommendation on the best possible experience you can have for your money in 2025 Christmas going into 2026 and the brand that I would recommend. Now there are a few different brands that have some really strong contenders like the Elegoo Centuri Carbon. Hey, that's an amazing printer for $300, right? Well, it was supposed to be. I don't even have mine anymore. They made false promises and couldn't deliver on the AMS system. Mine was slow. I had probably like a 60 to 65, maybe 70% success rate and a high enough failure rate that I just didn't want to mess with that. So instead of you buying a $300 printer and wasting six months of your time on it, why don't I jump in front of the camera for just a minute and let you know my experience with 3D printing in the last year or so. Guys, let me tell you, it has jumped light years ahead of where it used to be about nine years ago when I had my first Ender 3D printer and it was way more headache than it was fun. Nowadays, you can, I'm just grabbing something that I just printed, you can print little dragons. With, I, I show these to my friends and just people that I know, the plumber that came over today, and he is just mind blown at how this can print in one piece and it just comes right off the print bed very easily. So I've been texting so many people and <clears throat> letting them know like this, what's your budget? I'm glad to help you. You know, what are you wanting to do with your printer? and finding the perfect one for them, I thought I'd do the same for you guys. Basically, I'm gonna have a link in the description box below for my favorite brand of 3D printer, bum, 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 Bamboo Labs. Now, clicking the link helps support our channel and our family, but look, I can get, I can do those links with any company, any brand, it's not sponsored or whatever. I just put the hours, hundreds, hundreds of hours on every one of my printers. I own a couple A1s and A1 Mini, I have a P1S, I have an H2S and the X1C, and I actually have a couple more printers, not from that brand, uh, in, the, in the back here that I'm hoping to work around with uh, this winter. So here's the thing, here's the thing. If you're kind of like the uh, Samsung guy or not the iPhone person, and, or even uh, Linux or something, and you like to tinker, take your time, learn, mess with software more uh, than printing, there's a lot of options for you if you want to save 100 to 200 dollars. But if you're like me and you just want to pull off a cool dragon with a very high success rate that prints perfectly, looks amazing, does what it's supposed to do, you pop it off the bed and you hit go on your next thing, then I recommend one of these. They just tend to have a very good user experience for your first time at printing. And here's the cool part. Here's the mind blowing part to people. You download the app, the free app on your phone. You pick the free file that you want that some amazing user, a creator uploaded. Millions of files, millions of files. You send it wirelessly to any of these printers and you press go and it prints. You pop it off the print bed and it really is that easy. And that's because of the whole user experience with this brand. If you're looking for something for Jimmy, Timmy, yourself, your husband, your wife, whoever for Christmas, and it's just, it's that time, make it easy, make it fun, take my word for it from my experience and pick up something very nice. You'll on average pay maybe one to 200 more dollars more for one of these machines. And sometimes they're actually cheaper than the competitors. Like there are sales going on right now and you will notice some of them are on back order. Like the P1S, I think it's on back order till mid December. If it still shows that it'll arrive before Christmas, I would absolutely get it. I just told a good friend of ours 
they, she wanted to buy something for her husband uh, for Christmas and wanted a, a 3D printer and she said, how about the P1S? What do you think? That seems like the right size, you know, it's a, about the, the budget that I can swing, and I, and, but it's on back order mid-December. I said, you want it for Christmas? Buy it now, it'll come. That's just enough time to get it just in time for Christmas. So whatever your budget can hit of the seven or eight options or so that they have on their website is what you should buy. If you can only buy an A1 Mini and you want that smaller print bed, maybe it's maybe your limiting factor is how much desk space you have, get the A1 Mini. If you have a little more room, get the A1. It's not much more money and you almost double your print size, basically. Now you can do single color prints and just get the printer. If you wanna do, you know, gold or any color you can think of, you can even print magical multicolor things. This is actually one color, this dragon, but it's a special silk that, uh, silk filament that has two colors in the spool of filament. Kind of like this. This is one color, but you guys can clearly see that it is red and white, and it'll print something like this giant candy cane dragon. It came out looking really cool. If you get really close, you can see those candy cane stripes. But if you want to do something like this guy, just pulled this one off the printer today, see how its eyes stand out and you can, it's one tan color, like a gingerbread cookie or whatever, uh, but its eyes have pupils, they're white and black, and then he's got these little white stripes all over to make those cool little candy cane, or not well, just candy icing striping stuff. Okay, if you want to pull that off, you need something called an AMS, and the really cool thing is all these printers have the ability to also have an AMS combo. So it's very easy to hook up, super simple. The instructions take less than an hour to get it out of the box and all plugged in, following the instructions step by step. And every single one of these printers can have the AMS to do multiple colors, which means you'll need to buy more filament so you can do those multiple colors. Now, you can, you can buy random filament that you find on Amazon, because I don't think Bamboo sells this specific red and white candy cane silk, right? But they do sell some really cool colors and they have their own multiple color filaments too. Now, you can buy either one of these. This one's $30 on Amazon because it was a little rare. These are like 15 to 20 bucks on Bamboo Lab. And if you buy them in bulk, like up to eight, you get a little bit of a discount. This might be $20, but if you buy eight spools, it knocks them down to 15 or 16 bucks each. Now, this is a pretty basic spool. You're gonna throw that plastic spool away when you're done. This one is reusable, so after you use all that pink filament of Bamboo Labs spools, you can, uh, let me show you. Here's an empty one. You twist, it separates. You take this cardboard, you throw that away. And take note, see that little, little tab there? That's a microchip, little computer chip. You're actually gonna throw that away. You have your empty spool, now you can buy a refill spool on Bamboo Lab load it in, click that in place, the new refill spool will have one of these little microchips on it, and it doesn't cost any extra, there's no monthly subscription to do this or anything. Even using the refill or buying it new with a spool, your 3D printer, when you put that into the AMS, it will read the chip on there, and it knows what color's in there. It's not a big deal to, to tell it what kind of filament, you know, if you buy an off-brand, but it's a nice little bonus feature that you don't really have to pay much more for to have those chips on the spool. So if you buy filament for your printers, I recommend at least starting out to buy Bamboo Lab uh, filament. It just makes the whole process a little bit easier. The user experience is what they're after. And I think they knock it out of the park and absolutely nail it. I make stuff for my kids. I make stuff for my kids' little school class, you know, passing all that stuff out, little holiday things. I make stuff for friends and family all the time. And occasionally someone will ask me, hey, can you do this? And I take on the challenge. And I made a custom little dog that someone asked me to do as a project. I also make these really cool, see I fly with RC planes and these transmitters. I made this really cool sunshade that this is fully me, custom job that I did. Slides on there, nowhere near as fancy or intricate as, uh, as these very cool dragons, which all are free files. Uh, but I, I made that, I invented that, I used my 3D printers to make that happen, bring it to life, and I actually sell those on different websites and things, and locally or whatever. So 
The reason I'm jumping in front of the camera to make this video is to show you firsthand my awesome experience that I have had with Bamboo Labs. I've owned and had some level of success with other printers, but they've been more of a headache than what I've had with these in my experience. And I mean, it's just so stinking cool. You know, with the big H2S, the giant and one piece, you can make entire helmets. This is with the press of a button. I loaded one spool of black filament and uh, hit go and it made that, which was again, a free file. Remember, I'm pretty much a beginner here and I'm making stuff like this. I mean, that's how easy it is. There's no tricks to it. You get a free file that you think looks cool on your phone in their app and you press go and it sends it to the printer. Now this one printed in four pieces and it clicks together. That was no big deal at all, but this is the kind of stuff you can make if you want to for pennies on the dollar versus buying stuff. And it is so much fun and so addicting to get in the 3D printer world. I really just wanted to make this kind of easier for, you know, anyone that's shopping around. I've done the RC thing for years. People know they can trust us with whatever we're recommending and we've been really enjoying uh, the 3D printer stuff. And let me just, people keep begging me to do this. I ha I'm not there yet, but I want to show you what I'm working on. I'll give a little, little teaser. <laughs> Some of you might be able to guess this. My RC people. That is just a piece of something I'm working on. Just so you guys know I'm working on it. But my gosh, it is so much fun. It's so easy. It's way easier than you would think. And you really have a very, very high chance for success if you go the right route spend a little bit more for a higher quality product. It really does make a difference in this world of 3D printers and you can't go wrong. Again, spend where you can afford and I think that you'll have a very reflective experience. But if you need an absolute like, Nate, what would you, what would you pick? I just can't decide. Well, I love my H2S. It is, I haven't had, knock on wood, I haven't had a single failure on it. It's the quietest machine. It does the biggest things. It has the best AMS. It's not unreasonably priced compared to the others, but I think if I needed to just pick one or two to pump prints out, I'd probably go with P1S or I don't own it, but they did just make a new P2S. And I think, I don't know, sorry Bamboo if I'm wrong, but it, I think it competes really well with the X1C, which was their flagship. So if I had to pick one, I would pick the H2S today. If I only could have one printer on my desktop, it would be that because it can print small things and big things. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for somebody. That's the point of any video that I make. And if you just want to say thanks, clicking the link to buy your next round of filament goes a long way for me. We make a very small commission off of it and it doesn't cost you a single extra penny. So if you just want to say thanks for the content, that's a great way to do it. Leaving a thumbs up or a comment, watching the video all the way through is an awesome way to say thanks. On the subject of thanks, I want to say massive thanks to God for blessing us with the time to jump in front of the camera and share this experience with you guys. And of course, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. Please let me know what are you guys printing through the winter. I've got awesome winter projects that I'm working on and I cannot wait to share some of those with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.